Hey, uh, my name is Kaiman. I'm 22 years old and I'm trying out this whole stand-up comedy thing because, uh, well, Walford gives me a lot of free time. So I just thought to let you guys all know that if this doesn't go too well, I'll be out around back offering my personal party services for the remainder of my rent. And I do mean out around back. Uh, you know what I found? People who claim they're scared of heights are liars. Take my uh, ex-girlfriend, for example. She uh, claimed she was terrified of heights. So I uh, took her up to Mount Fairweather. Yeah. 15,000 feet above sea level. Lying, horse slut, bitch. Loved every minute of it. Oh, right. Should have mentioned she uh, fucked my best friend while I was passed out on the floor. Yeah. Apparently her uh, fear of heights was actually a fear of not being low enough to the ground. I don't really have the best sex life, to be honest. I um, I have a chronic debilitating asthma, and just with the terrible respiratory and cardiovascular health, I just I just can't keep going, you know. And and, and well, also there's Wikipedia's entry on micro penis, which kind of puts a kibosh on my Craigslist ads these days. Before it was really hard to find out what that was, you know, with the encyclopedia, people have to go look it up, and I could usually get away with a few dates here and there. But um. You know, I care a lot about image, you know, and uh, it's, it's kind of shitty because I don't really look too great in the community these days. You know, back in high school, I was a total badass, you know, I got fear, respect, everything, man. And you know how I did it? I decided, first day of high school, I didn't want people to fuck with me. So I did the, uh, the old prison yard thing. So, walked in, first day of school picked out the two oldest seniors I could find, and beat the living shit out of them. Literally. Fucking, they both lost their continents in front of everyone. So I just took Eleanor's purse and got the fuck out of there. But I, I did actually get in a lot of fights in high school. I got in seven fights, and I, I don't know how I feel about this being proudly Canadian and all, but three of them were directly involved with poutine. They were over poutine, and, and they were the most violent by far. So, show of hands, anyone? Uh, gravy in an open wound? No, no. What about maple syrup? Come on. Some of you had to have been in the Canucks riots. Fuck's sakes, we've had two. But violence is never the answer, is it? And, um, I'm a Buddhist. I, uh, I believe in reincarnation. In fact, uh, for the last 500 years, I've had a list of things I've been trying to achieve. I've really been trying to focus on making an invention that was going to change the world, you know? Give me wealth, fame, power, plentiful bitches. I know, I'm not, I'm not the best Buddhist out there. But, I am an excellent brown noser. And, uh, I gotta tell you, Buddha really does have one very large receptive sphincter. In uh, one of my past lives, I actually invented the air mattress. I, uh, the original concept was for a cushion that you could sleep on while you're camping and the timing was to be just right so that by the time you woke up and you had cold hard rocks pressed in your back you'd realize it's time to get the fuck out of here and back to my real house and actually I was close to inventing the first house yeah I was very close to finishing that one but uh, I bumped into a supporting beam hit me, knocked me down and the fucking roof collapsed, snapped my neck instantly and uh, unfortunately I was unlucky enough to be reincarnated as a snail on a nearby log, and as I got around to getting crushed, they'd already beat me to it, so I lost out on that one. But, um, a few lifetimes after that, I almost made it really big, like really big. I, I could have made millions, you know, but, um, unfortunately, my invention, it uh, never really got off the ground. Uh, right around the time I was coming out with it, the union seceded, so there wasn't really much of a market for my slave leash. Yeah, I, uh, the whole business was in shackles. In shambles. In shambles. They were in shackles. I, uh, yeah, it feels shitty to lose a lease. It feels even shittier to lose 60 leases at once. That's hard to explain to the bank. Uh, yeah, they just walked off. And you know, right now, if I were a ventriloquist, I would be pretty embarrassed to have my, uh, my dummy mention the time I spent in the 1930s, early 1930s. I was actually uh, world-renowned, quite successful. I made uh, industrial-sized pizza ovens. You could fit, you could make 200 pizzas at once, but um, that's not what the Germans wanted them for. 
So, uh, consequently, I was reincarnated as an Israeli wall, where I had to stare at a Star of David for six years until a small brown child threw a grenade at me. And then after that, I was further punished by being reincarnated as a non-Jewish stand-up comedian who can't afford a ventriloquist dummy. So, um... Oh, God. The guy that lives above me is a fucking jerk. Well, actually he's a really great DJ, but... I'm just sick of dancing till 4 in the morning every night. I got work, you know?